Welcome back. I thought I would share with you my current project that I'm working on and I'm fairly new to the loom knitting and so um, trial and error is how a lot of us learn. <laughs> uh, this is the pattern that I'm that I started this scarf with in this book and which is a nice book too because I do have some tutorials, video tutorials that you can access. They give you, there's a number code in there that you can um, view certain things. And then in the back there's some extra instructions too that are very helpful. But this is the scarf that, um, I guess you could say I am replacing the, my old tattered scarf that I showed you. <laughs> Looks pretty sad. But I, this particular pattern I started off and... Uh, was following it according to the directions and then you get to you do row three and then you get to the point where it says repeat row two and three until scarf measures approximately 51 inches so that's what I was going for and I'm continuing the rows back and forth <laughs> like a ping pong ball um, you purl across front one row and then you e-wrap the row coming back and you just keep going back and forth you don't work in a complete circle you just um, you alternate, you go this way, and then this way, and then this way, instead of a complete, instead of working in a complete circle. So, um, that is how I'm getting the width of my scarf. And it says, you know, work that till you get to 51 inches. I may change that, I may not. I saw another pattern that I really liked that's basically the same measurements except for you go to about 30 inches. And so, when I reach a point, you know, I'm going to size it according to myself and, and see how long it, that I'm going to need it to work for me. Um, one of the things that appealed to me about this particular scarf is because I don't necessarily always have a hat with me. And so this way I can have the option, if it's really blustery outside, I can always pull it up over my head and cover my ears as well. And you can wrap it, as you can see in the picture. Let's see. It needs to be this way, this one, that's wrapped. So it's a cute little style. I like it a lot. So um, I chose to, as I said before, when I was showing you this Martha Stewart loom, it is interchangeable. So I chose to do use these pieces because I wanted to save my half rounds, my circle loom in case I decided to work on a hat in the meantime in between. While I'm working on this, I can also work on a hat. So that's why I went with this pattern. And the, this um, calls for 28 pegs, that pattern that I'm following. It called for 28 pegs. I altered them. And um, if I would have, what I did when I inserted my pegs is I did every other hole. And if I would have put them all, if I would have put them side by side, they would have been able to all fit on one side. So, um, but it would have also made it um, narrower. It wouldn't have been quite as wide, and my gauge would have been not as loose. So I kind of liked having it just a little bit on the loose side. And um, so anyway, that's the... The thought process process on that. I didn't mention um, these pins hold the loom. When you lock those pieces together, these pins also um, hold it and lock it in place. And you don't have to use this particular one. I just use that because it's just basically a holding pin. But you can, you know, like the same as here, I'm weaving on these pins. So I could have used a pink on that as well if I wanted to. But I just, you know, it's just your own choice of what you want to work with. And then um, I probably, they, there's a next size smaller of a pin, the pink, I think it's a green pin. I could have used those, but I started with the pink because I just thought maybe it would be easier for me. So like I said, you know, trial and error, I'll find what works better for me as I go along. And I'm really um, liking, liking it a lot. And this is the pick that it comes with. It has a nice handle. And so um, it works in the groove. There's little grooves on these pins. It slides over. And so this this row here that I'm go that I will be proceeding on that will be my purling row. 
And then when I work back around again, come back this way, it will be my regular knitting row. And so the yarn that I chose for this particular project, I went ahead and bought some homespun from Joann's when they were having a sale. I had a coupon for 60% off and I used it on a row or one of these bundles and then I ended up having to go in again for something else and I thought, huh, I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. Of course, it's important that you compare your dye lots and make sure that the colors match up so that way your, your color selection is, um, you know, it doesn't change on you in midway through your scarf or whatever project you're working on. But um, so this is the color that I'm working with so far. Sorry about that. My device ran out of memory, <laughs> so I had to clear some space, and I uploaded in the first video to clear up more space, too. So it, it took a while for me to get back on here, much later than when I had recorded before. But um, so I've kind of lost my train of thought of what I was talking about previously, but I really do like this loom a lot. I'm very happy with it. I love the construction of it. It's very durable. Uh, it has a lot of potential and what you can do with it. And so I do recommend it if, you know, if you're looking for something, if you're, if you're contemplating it, you know, it, it is, I, so I like that's it. what we've been up to. We're having a lot of fun with our looms and I'll be, um, I'm planning on doing more. And I can't wait to learn the cable stitch on the loom. I did order some cable, um, they're called cable U-pins or hooks that you have to use that holds your stitches as you're making that. So I'm hoping I'll get the hang of that easily. And I'm hoping that since I have the loom that it will make it easier. <laughs> so it, and it is definitely easier on my hands. I can say that much. So um, if anyone else out there also does loom knitting let me know I'd like to see what you make and if you have any tips or suggestions or patterns that you have found that um, you have liked share those and um, this is what I have so far uh, my scarf it's kind of a loose weave and um, so I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you are too and I hope everyone takes care and thanks so much for watching Talk to you later. Bye.